How's it going y'all? Today I'm gonna show you how to get all three played fast types in DMZ. So be sure to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out any videos like this. So let's start with the stealth vest, but you can easily get it on Almazra. If you go to any buy station, it will just require you a comic book, an encrypted USB stick, as well as a game console. The comic book will be the easiest to get here. You can visit any gas station and you'll see one laying around usually on the shelf. As for the encrypted USB sticks, there are two methods to get them. Firstly, you want to visit all the police stations and check out all the computers. Remember to check the computer on the front desk as they will spawn the encrypted USB stick as well. And check out all the computers, first floor and second floor. Here we find one on the second floor. The second method is to check out all the buildings inside of Almazra city. You want to go to these four buildings highlighted here. Alright, I'm going to show you the building on the bottom right. That is the bank. You want to check every single computer. We found one here inside of the server room on the third floor. You want to check out this square building on the top right as well. As you guys can see, there are a lot of computers here for you guys to find the encrypted USB stick. Alright, the final item is the game console. You guys can usually find it inside any stores, as you guys can see here inside one of the convenience store in Sawa Village. If you want to know the place that I usually go is at the Al Said Mall. It's basically a mall with a lot of stores, so the higher chances for you guys to get the game console. Also, there's a secret way to enter this mall without using a key, which I'm going to show you guys here. You just have to go to the parking area here and then cross over to the mall, climb up to the rooftop. And then you want to climb up these walls here to the upper rooftop and then there are two ways to enter the mall either to use the staircase here where you have to defuse the bomb or you can go to the roof there's an opening there clear all the guards from there and then you can just parachute down there are a lot of stores here you guys can check out make sure to check all the stores inside of the mall as you guys can see here we're able to find one game console inside of this store right here once you have all three items, just visit any buy station and click on barter and you should be able to get the stealth vest. Really, really quick and easy. Another method to get the stealth vest is you need to have the skeleton key. I wouldn't advise you to grind skeleton key on Almazra, but I have a video down in the description below if you guys want to check out to get the skeleton key within just one run, the fastest and easiest way. So once you have the skeleton key, you want to be bringing over to Omazra and then you want to be heading to this location right here in al Ahda village. This door has no keys that can open it. So you guys can see here, you can only open it with a skeleton key. So it's called the skeleton room by most people. So I'm going to show you how to get there. So once you reach the area, you want to be going to this small alley here and then climb up the ladder. And then go ahead and use the skeleton key. As you can see inside, there are a lot of loot. We have three plate vests. We also have three plate comms vests right on this desk right here. And then on the floor, there's a three plate stealth vest. And then plenty of weapons as well. If you guys need any weapon with attachments, this room is a good room to visit. If you guys have the skeleton key and it's pretty easy to get skeleton key. All right, next let's talk about the comms vest. You can use the same method to get the stealth vest from the skeleton room. If you want to know how to get the skeleton key the easiest and fastest way, you guys can check out the link in the description below. Once you got the skeleton key, you want to be bringing it to Omazra and then head over to Oada village as shown on the map right here. Just unlock the door and inside you'll find the comms vest as well as the stealth vest. Another method to get the comms vest is through barter. You can You'll need an encrypted hard drive, two normal batteries, as well as one soothing cream. You can get the normal batteries from any place with electrical components, such as the gas station, the police station, and even houses with random loots. As for the soothing cream, you can get this from probably bathrooms and houses and also gas station. As for the encrypted hard drive, this will be the hardest one. If you want to know how to get the encrypted hard drive as well as the encrypted USB stick, you want to watch the video from the beginning where I talk about stealth vest and how I got the encrypted USB sticks from the police station, the banks, and all the locations in our Mazra city. Another consistent method to get the comms vest is on Vandal. You want to be having the 
smugglers drop key or you can use the skeleton key you want to be heading over to the northwestern side of Vondel near the castle you want to enter the l-shaped building right here sometimes this building is a stronghold as well so you want to be bringing a stronghold key once you clear all the guards there'll be a cage right next to the entrance upon unlocking it you'll find the comms vest which will spawn 100% of the time as for the temperate vest this is pretty easy you can just go to Almazra and then you want to be finding the pyro boss usually he'll be at the US embassy building the post office and sometimes at the control center tower you can buy these keys from some of the buy stations for thirty thousand dollars or you can bring along the skeleton key if you want to know how to get the skeleton key the easiest and fastest way you can check out the link in the description below once you've killed the pyro he'll drop this hampered vest 100% of the time. Alright, finally, let's talk about the healing vest or the medical vest. You can easily get it from the chemist. So you want to find the radiated area on Almazra. You want to quickly go there, get a vehicle and get there as soon as possible and then get to a high ground. It'll be easier if you have a sniper with an infrared or a thermal scope because you can see the chemist through with fog. It's really easy to kill the chemist as the chemist AI and the guards are not really smart. They're just taking shots and wouldn't react too much. And you can simply kill the chemist and then parachute down to where the chemist is. And then there should be a gas mask and the tree plate medics vest as well as his weapon, the M13B, which you can unlock if you successfully extract with a weapon. So that's it for today's video. I hope you find this video useful. If it did, be sure to hit the subscribe for more future DMZ content. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.